So my name is Andreas Muglaus. I'm a professor of Chardonnay at the University of Glasgow, and I've been talking about SCMNA related epilepsies and the spectrum from loss of function drug syndrome to gain of function SCMNA related epilepsies and how important it is to recognize a clinical phenotype and to choose the appropriate treatments for those patients because that's really vital that um, loss of function patients are treated not with sodium channel blockers but with um, other treatment that's been established. However, gain of function patients should be treated with um, sodium channel blockers because they improve with that. And that's a really the key message that the SCMNA spectrum is expanding. And these are really key features that we should consider. I understand you have a new website for an organization. Um, could you tell us a, a, just a yes. quick bit, please? We've just launched the um, SCMNA, SCMNA Horizons Natural History Study in the United Kingdom. And so this is for all individuals who have got an SCMNA uh, mutation. They can all participate, children and adults. And the um, website is called called SCN1A Horizons. You can Google that and um, find full, further information on this natural history study. So it's the first time that we have a prospective natural history study to really learn much more of, uh, about SCN1A related epilepsies. And that hopefully will lead to better standard of care for patients uh, in the UK and also inform and help us to develop new treatments. I'm Nazanin and I did my PhD with uh, Gabriel B. Turgin uh, related disorders. So I did functional testing of this one variants and uh, did some uh, phenotype genotype correlations and we found really interesting results that I presented in this conference so and have you learned anything from the conference yeah actually a lot uh, updated news and uh, clinical trials that has been done on different gene disorders so it's really interesting to see that there's future for this uh, disorders also within the Gabriel B2 gene uh, Field. Do you plan on coming to the next one in a couple of years' time? Of course. I have been joining since I started to working with epilepsy and this gene, so I'm planning to do it again. Uh, my name is Jonas Lagerhell. I'm a PhD student at Copenhagen University. Uh, I work with uh, GABA receptor delta subunit gain of function and stem cell models. They have been characterized uh, in all sites, but we're taking it a bit further and using uh, patient-derived stem cells to look at them electrophysiologically and molecularly. Uh, and I'm here to just uh, sort of mingle and network and uh, talk a bit more about uh, about GABA disorders and see if I can get some take-home messages. And I'm really enjoying it so far. Have you met lots of interesting people that you've met, um, that you've seen online, but now you're like, oh my goodness, they're a real human. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I mean, there's of course always the usual suspects here. Uh, uh, as as co are coming to all the conferences, uh, but there's definitely also some new faces and some uh, some new angles I haven't heard about before. So it's, it's really interesting, very relevant for what I'm doing.